Hi, this is Scary Star Being, and it's just Scary Star Being on this channel now. Just me. <laughs> Sorry, I've got all sorts of dog hair and debris on this cloth. That's a painting I'm working on. That little heart-shaped chocolate chip looking thing is from my daughter for Mother's Day. It's really cute. It's made of clay. I like getting little souvenirs for my children. <laughs> Which is dorky. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's fun. Just doing a reading. I'm going to do my best to call out signs as I see them. Alright, if I start channeling, uh, I don't know if I will remember to, but I will do my best, alright? Lately I've been getting so many downloads, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't know if you guys have been experiencing it. If you don't know what a download is, it's like a download of inspiration or information, okay? Also known as a light code, right? So, <laughs> if you don't know what any of those things are, then please Google them. Feel free to Google, alright? When I first came into the, like, spiritual community, I didn't know a lot of terminology either. So, I was busy Googling and uh, studying. I studied for quite a few years. Uh, not only through Google, but through other um, other people that were spiritual as well. And um, I read a lot of uh, books as well as uh, online articles. Uh, I don't know. I learned from all directions, and the education was free, just so you know. So don't ever let anybody tell you that you need to pay to get this information. Um, you either pay in money or you pay in your time, right? Like you can take the time and research for yourself whatever it is that you want to research. You don't have to pay in money. So it's it's not necessarily free, I guess, right? We also pay in energy, right? There was times where I was so engrossed in what I was learning that I didn't sleep. I just had to keep studying. I studied for days. It was like my my soul or my brain, my consciousness was hungry for the information. I felt that way with astrology too. Like I, I just recently uh, felt an appetite cessation for astrology, but that was when I came into union with my soul because now I am my soul, all right? So my soul is, you know... My soul knows where it's going. My soul knows who I am. I know who I am. And that's, you know, that's the journey of soul. We all have to come back to ourselves. We all start out in hell. Or below, if you don't believe in hell. Um, Yes, it's a mind construct, all right? It's a state of being because things are thoughts before they become actions, before they become things. So that is sort of how things get translated to the physical plane. If you think about it, in um, astrophysics, I learned that the sun literally fused every known element on this planet, right? Every, every material here, including the, the beings that live here, are made from elements that the 
that were fused together in the sun. I am the Eye of Ra. I am Sekhmet. So when I became one with myself again, I got to know myself on a very deep level. I got to see my origin. It's a journey, guys. Okay? It's a journey. So, you know, stop saying, are we there yet? Are we there yet? All right? It's annoying. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> no, we can't stop for a bathroom break <laughs> for t 20 more miles. No, <laughs> Oh. Memories. Five, 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 guys. So change. Big, 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 big changes. I'm really excited about the changes that are currently taking place for me. I just experienced a really profound dark night of the soul and I feel wonderful now. I feel very, very raw, very vulnerable, very brand new, very open, like possibilities, guys. The flow of possibilities is flowing. It's coursing through my veins. I have to act upon it. My soul got hungry. And occasionally yours will too. So don't feel ashamed or bad about taking time out to feed your soul. You have to. You have to, even if it's just going outside in the sunlight. So that you can receive those light codes from the sun, from, from raw. Sorry, I get really excited talking about this. Because this life has been the most amazing life that I have ever lived. I have never lived a more amazing life and not even, I'm not even talking about lifetimes where I've been famous. Alright. Because I've lived that and, you know, fame has its, fame has its lessons, guys. So don't think that uh, wanting to be famous isn't something that your soul is longing for because... If you are longing to be famous, which I am absolutely not anymore, um, <laughs> uh, it's because your soul deeply craves that lesson, all right, that knowledge. And there's no shame in that, all right? Let me put this one down because there's nowhere to put it. Okay. Ooh, they said to see the undercarriage of the deck, the lovers. Wow, the lovers, guys. Okay, so we have King of Wands. Let me try to get this in the light. I, you know, I was having a trouble with the glare when the flash would go off, but now I'm thinking that it's more annoying to have this shadow of my head in the picture, right? I don't know. Is is it just me? <laughs> you know me. I like to channel and talk shit here. I like to have fun. This is this is my fun hobby. All right, this is what I do for my soul. Because sometimes I'm bursting at the seams with too much information and I have to let it out because I'm a Gemini rising. And if you don't like Gemini, well, it's your loss because Geminis are awesome. And I'm not talking about the one that's in office. I'm very, very certain that he is having some very, very hard soul lessons, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> but what I'm talking about is most of the Geminis that I know are just dolls. Oh my god. I love a Gemini. Alright? Love them. They are just so full of information and so full of the eagerness to learn. And they have a spotless mind. I love it. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life, all right? This is not a Gemini card, okay? I just realized I did not tell you. King of Wands, Wands are fire, so King of Wands could be a Sagittarius. Um, could be any fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, this one looks like a father, right? This guy's a dad. He's got... 
three little children around him, and, you know, he almost looks like, he looks sort of grandfatherly to me, but that doesn't mean that, you know, those aren't his children, children, you know? <laughs> As we all know, men can have children into their, probably into their 90s, who knows, but, uh, Judgment. So this is card of Libra. I almost want to say Scorpio here too because they're being resurrected, right? And Scorpio is supposed to be represented by the Phoenix. So like rising from the ashes. I'm getting, I'm really getting that heavily right now, guys. It's almost like this is the announcement right here, okay? I'm coming out, right? <laughs> I promise I won't sing too much on this channel. I know it's painful to listen to, so I will not poison you with my, with my, uh, there's no words for it, right? So, judgment. <laughs> nice. I'm going to go back and read it you know, like, read it, read it, but I'm just kind of like, this looks like a Gemini card, if you ask me, but it's two of wands, but that's like the symbol for Gemini right now, right, right now, right now. Okay, so we're, we're coming to the present. Yeah, when I said right now, they were like, now, and I was like, okay, right now? <laughs> right now, guys right the fuck now okay so venus venus is going to be going retrograde in gemini and i am unsure if there's anything else happening significant in the house of gemini or the third house right but that is the most significant thing that and and you know i keep saying gemini because this card the lovers is gemini card Okay, this card is Four of Pentacles. This is the This is the um card of Earth, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I want to say Taurus, right? Cuz Taurus likes to hold on to things. But I also want to say Capricorn because look. She's got she's got a time watch there. And Capricorn is ruled by Saturn the god of time, Kronos. Interesting. Like, this guy's, like, running out of fucking time right now. That's what I'm getting. He's like, oh shit, oh shit, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time and money. Hmm. It's weird. This is a weird story, guys. And then we have the Lovers, card of Gemini. I don't know, I like it. I like it. It's nice. It's beautiful. It seems like... Like, this dad... This dad, this person is unaware that they are, these people are unaware that they are in the midst of a huge transformation. And a lot of people are just newly awakening right now, right? So there's a lot of people that are really struggling to get a grasp on exactly what reality is, okay? And that is a good sign. And that is the best thing that can happen to anybody. Struggle with reality because what's what's right in front of you isn't always the truth. Alright? So you have to look with your discerning eye, your third eye, right? To see the truth. The truth of your soul because that's the window to your soul. And you have to put in the work. You have to put in the effort. Alright? 
And we all have the duty of mentoring those that come after us, right? That's almost what I'm seeing right here. You're like helping somebody find the fruits of soul. Even though that's probably garlic, but you know. There's always going to be a duty of care to others. If you have a soul, right? But you know, these, these two people are like new at this whole awakening thing. This person's losing time. This person doesn't know who they are anymore. This person hears voices. This person uh, doesn't know what reality is and it's kind of scary. And that's okay. I was scared too. I got really depressed uh, with, with uh, one of my awakenings. I got so depressed that I was in bed for three months straight. I swear to God it was three months straight. But yeah, I did everything for bed. It was horrible. But I just, I was so scared. I was terrified. I, I thought that I was a very put, well put together individual. I thought I was healed from trauma because I'd been to therapy. Um, and then I was re-traumatized by something and it opened up this, it opened up Pandora's box for me personally. And I realized that I didn't know who I was and I didn't know what reality was. And I started becoming more sensitive to everything and, um, I remembered my telepathic abilities and I, you know, I started time traveling back into my past so that I could find some closure and healing. Um, I guess that's called past life regression, right? Because even in, even your past is a past life re regression. Um, you could be on your first life or you could be on your last life, right? It all depends. All of these things are happening, happening simultaneously. Yeah, it's time to start falling in love with the process, guys. It's time to start falling in love. Period. Alright? But be careful. There's a little snaky snake right there that's biting this guy. Because he's too consumed by her beauty. Anyway. <laughs> So be cautious, you know, don't get bitten by love. Uh, Venus retrograde can be the, um, can kind of signify when Persephone was kidnapped into the underworld by Hades, right? And it can be, um, I think Marina Darkstar from Darkstar Astrology calls it the, the dark Cupid relationship, all right? And those are all necessary relationships to go through. They help They help us learn. They help us grow. Okay? They're not to be forever. For sure. Like, nobody wants to go through that forever. Trust me. <laughs> uh, I still, I'm still haunted by mine. But, um, that's neither here nor there. Uh, fuck. I love you guys. I think you guys are the bomb. And... And if any of you have any questions for me about anything in regards to this spiritual journey, shoot me a question or tell me something if you know something, right? Share. Sharing is, is scary. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it really is, right? It is hard to share our stories because there's a level of... Um, disenfranchisement that comes with an awakening sometimes because those who don't understand or haven't gone through one yet um, will see you as crazy so and you just sort of have to hold on to the knowledge that you're transforming okay you're becoming a different person on a whole different level with your soul Okay, well, I will talk to you later. I love your fucking faces. Bye.